Hey, this is Kyle with ConvertKits, and today I just wanted to talk to you about using landing pages in a little bit of a different and creative way. Recently, I set up a landing page to help out a friend and I who have a podcast called Commuteless. It's about working from home with less stress and more freedom. And part of what I wanted to reduce for people was the barrier to entry to just go listen to the most recent episode that I'm promoting. We were commonly pushing people directly to our site, and even though that's great for traffic and SEO and those kind of things, people often want to go listen on something they're familiar with, like Apple Podcasts or Spotify, those kind of things. And honestly, it, there's a lot of incentive to go visit the website anyway, because all of our show notes are there. So getting people's ears <laughs> plugged into the podcast was the number one objective here. And I realized that by pushing people to the website, we were kind of forcing them into listening on the website specifically and maybe going out to a different link to then go listen on a different platform. And that's just a lot of work to ask people to do. So I set up a landing page and this landing page just has some links to things. And I'll go ahead and show that to you real quick. Uh, here's the landing page that I've set up. It has a short description of our show. Of course, at the top, listen to our podcast. Uh, below that, we have some links to different outlets for our podcast. Of course, you can go listen on our website. And I made sure that one is the most predominant link at the top. But then there's also these options to go listen on some other platforms, as well as some other options that I didn't necessarily want to include as these big listen buttons, but some people do use TuneIn, Stitcher, or just a plain RSS feed to listen to our podcast. So I've accommodated with those links here. One thing to note is that this top link goes directly to the most recent episode of our podcast. So up here where the URL is, you can see we have commutelist.fm slash latest. And this was set up by us specifically. You would have to see if your setup for a podcast or blog or anything like that has a way to send people directly to the most recent posting. But in our case, we have this link. And so we can go over to the latest Commuteless FM uh, podcast and people can listen to that. So every week when I share this out, it's going to the most recent episode, which is great. The setup for this was super easy, and it also, of course, as is tradition with our landing pages, includes a way to sign up for your email list. So since people have all these options, uh, we also have this incentive here to get weekly updates and some exclusive content if you sign up to our email list. Uh, admittedly, just behind the scenes, I'm working on something to be more of a lead magnet than just you want some exclusive content. <laughs> but this is here in case people want to join the list which we all know is a much better converting way of marketing anything, including a podcast. If people are getting updates in their inbox about your most recent episode, you're much more likely to get listens on that. And so that's what this is striving to achieve is, hey, I know you've listened to this. Uh, by the way, there's more. There's <laughs> a much uh, more in-depth, better way to get notifications and all those things down here at the bottom. So let's take a look at how I set this up. First of all, I used the Canyon landing page template. So let's go back out to landing pages and create a new landing page. I will just choose the Canyon one here. So as you can see by default, things are in a little bit of a different order. I made some changes to this to make sure this is laid out the way I wanted to, but really, even just this page template with, you know, of course, changing the picture and the text and those kind of things, this is really ready to go. You could instantly have something set up. Uh, these link areas here are fantastic. So if I go to settings, you can see that I have some options for single column, two columns. If I want the corners to be rounded or if I don't want them to be rounded. Um, also, there's options for each one to choose what the links are. Uh, look like. So the icon, for example, here is Twitch. I could change it to email uh, or anything else I want to change it to here. And there's a lot of options for that as well. Uh, one thing to note is that you can also rearrange these. So you can slide those around and make changes. Um, you can also change, of course, how this looks if you don't want this dark look to it. 
Uh, you can make changes there. You can put a, a photo in if you want to. You could just change the color here. Um, you know, maybe something lighter. And then each of these uh, over in general styles, let's see, I'm sorry, in settings <laughs> for these, uh, you can change the background color. So you could make it something lighter and uh, really work with this to fit whatever the look of your brand is. And one great thing to mention about setting up a landing page like this is that you could have multiple of these landing pages. So once you get one of these set up and it looks the way you want it to, this top area here where you are introducing yourself and sharing what you're all about, you could in theory duplicate these. So up at the top right next to save and publish, you can do duplicate. So you could make multiple versions of this and then target those towards specific audiences. So let's say for example, you have Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and you're sharing links to all of those. You could specifically address your Twitter audience or your Instagram audience or your Facebook audience, anything you want to up here in the top, um, really any content on the whole page. If you wanna make changes to that, um, you can do that and then have each of those landing pages with their respective platforms, converting people over to your email list, and of course, going to view whatever content it is that you're making on a regular basis. So that's a look at setting up this kind of quick share link page. And it's been really great for us. Like I said, uh, people are getting directly to the podcast episode. They're listening to it. There's much less barrier to entry. And honestly, it hasn't really affected that much with traffic on our site quite yet. Um, more on that maybe to come, <laughs> I don't know. Like it hasn't gone through enough time to really see how much people are clicking that link versus just going to our site. Uh, but again, our most predominant link on that page is our site. So it's possible a lot of people are still just going there, but you at least have those options to go listen on other platforms and make it work for the way you consume content. Thanks so much. I hope you do some awesome creative things with this. In the comments of this video, it'd be great if you talked about some things you've done with landing pages kind of like this. Uh, maybe share some links, talk about that a little bit. Uh, it'd be really great to see what other people are doing creatively kind of outside the box with these landing pages rather than just the traditional, here's some paragraphs of text and a sign up box. What are you doing that's different with landing pages? Thanks so much for your time and I hope you have a great rest of your day.